The healthcare resources are escalating. It is unsustainable the way we are. I want to see the effective utilization of resources to address cancer in the most effective way. The use of data analytics and artificial intelligence is the first step in trying to understand the process that we have been following for years and to make improvement in that process. The data is a gold mine and we have that, but we haven't effectively used it. The Cross Cancer Institute is a unique structure. It's a cancer dedicated facility. It's not part of any other hospital. So all the data has been collected for years. In Department of Radiation Oncology, we will treat about anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 patients. They all come at the front desk. They get the data recorded there of demographics. Then they go to different departments. They may go to radiation oncology department. They register there with their diagnosis. And then they go to different parts of the department. So everywhere the data is collected. So now, suppose there is an increase of 500 patients in this year. How will that impact? How many radiation oncologists should there be? How many nurses should there be? How many machines we need to buy? They're all correlated. And we have the data for the past five to 10 years. We know how the resources have been allocated in the past. Now with very powerful technique, we know how these, all these factors, all these players, numbers and treatments and type of machines and they are all correlated. With all this trend, we need to identify which are the problem areas, which are the more inefficient areas. Are we assigning resources to the problem that are actually major problem? Or are we spending our resources to disease entities or problems that are really not important? It affects only far and few between. So then we will know exactly where the resources need to be focused to get the maximum mileage of the limited resources that we need to have. Our plan is such that first we will uh, work at the Cross Cancer Institute because it's a small contained standalone unit. All the data that is collected here stays here. And then we will go across to Calgary and uh, look at the data of Tom Baker Cancer Center and see how we compare. And then once we have the whole picture of Alberta, then there's no reason why it couldn't be replicated elsewhere because the problem of limited resources are also universal.